after the installation of no blade, uh, we like to play around with it a, a little uh, before we get into a uh, new exercise. Uh, open the command prompt and type no blade. Assuming that you install the software correctly, uh, you have a message like this and copy this to a browser. Okay, so just copy this HTTP uh, string and open it in a browser like this. Okay. And you see the screen that looks like this. Node-Red is a graphical software that allows you to create a connection of your uh, your system. Okay, uh, called Flow, and here is a workspace uh, that you can create for. On the left side, you see a bunch of items like this uh, called nodes, and it is classified to groups. Okay, and we will just use a couple of, of these nodes to uh, in the connection. And on the right, you see another uh, area. For this page, information and output, uh, the nodes have several types. Some have only output and some have uh, only input. Uh, for example, I will create a very simple one. Uh, I drag the no to the work area here. Now, so we connect this together like this. And for for this example, I just want to uh, print something. Okay, th this is a like a output node. So it, it display the output from this. Okay, so when I click this, I open a window for settings. And suppose I want to. Uh, Okay, I want to output something to to say it. Let's say hello. Okay, so uh, this this chat uh, output message hello to the message payload here. Okay, nothing to change here. Okay, whenever you clear the flow like this, if you see the, the blue dot like this, it means that you haven't saved the, the, the flow. Okay, so you have to click deploy. When, after you click deploy, it says successfully deploy and the blue dot disappear. This means that you are ready to uh, uh, execute your flow. Okay, and if I click on this, uh, I inject the the string hello to this, okay, to, to this uh, output, okay, to this debug node. But if you want to see the message, you have to select here, okay, select debug message. And you see that the message hello is printed in the right window. Okay, so that's the idea how you create a, a flow. So you can follow this uh, PowerPoint slide here and now we can uh, create a simple flow like this. So we get into example one. Uh, if you want to write, uh, try to write something to NetPy shadow. Okay. And you have to bring, use the MQTTL node. Okay. Let's do that. Get back to the flow here. Okay, maybe uh, we can erase that and get the MQDT out. Right. So when we click on this MQDT out, you see the setup window like this, and uh, you have to uh, fill in the information, and the information should come from a uh, NetPy device. Just like you connect other software like the MQTT box to NetPy. Okay. 
So log into your Netpy account and let's create a new project. Uh, call it Node-Led. This. Okay. And create a new device, right? name that you like uh, now you see the information client the token second as before you have to uh, bring this okay I'll copy this to the uh, no let's set up the PD I'll set up so from this setup window uh, click on the uh, you have to edit the MQTT broken and you say that the server, the client ID, uh, have to put in, okay, the, the information from here, okay, so put in the client ID, right there. In the server flow type, uh, broker, And click on the security and uh, put in the username and password. This token go to username. And the secret goes to password. Okay, then uh, put in some name. And the topic has to be at shadow data update like this. And then click the point. You see that now the it become uh, clean and set connected. It means that this node can connect to that part. Okay, and if you look at this uh, device, you should see it online. So the connection is successful. Uh, if you uh, cannot follow this, uh, all of these steps are in the uh, slides right here. Okay, so you just did it uh, like, like this. Now we want to inject some uh, data onto the NetPy shadow. So bring in the uh, timestamp and message payload like this. Okay, not the timestamp, the inject node. Okay, the inject the, the debug node. Now, uh, do some setup. In here, okay. So you select the type, message payload type here as a uh, JSON. Okay, because you want to send a JSON thing uh, in the NetPy format, so that uh, it can be written to the NetPy. Uh, shadow okay and click on here to put the JSON thing in there and the JSON thing is uh, provided in the uh, PowerPoint here okay so you just copy that thing put into this window okay so the thing just slide there now uh, 
we have to connect the, the nodes together. Okay, so we want to send this out, and also we want to display how the message looks like using the debug node. All right, so look like this. Deploy. Okay. Let's see if this works. Now, you see that data is sent to, to this device shadow successfully. Okay. Do click on this and you see that um, the data is also written to this message payload. Debug, okay, the debug node. Uh, we we are quite ready to do more complicated things with this node later.